So this is a similar idea to the Galilean slopes. I call it the Galileo pendulum. Uh, it's, in its essence, it's a pendulum that if we release it from the height of this blue line, swings back and forth, and it will reach the height of the blue line on the other side. Uh, a lot of times when we talk about this, we talk about it in terms of conservation of energy. We say that however much potential energy we gave the ball, it's not going to lose that energy, and so it should rise and swing back to the same height on the other side of the pendulum. Because that energy can't be created, can't be destroyed, the total amount of energy would stay the same. So if we release it from the height of the blue line, it should swing to the height of the blue line. But the special thing about this pendulum is that there's this bar I can extend into the middle of the swing. We know that without the bar, if I let this go, then it should swing to the height of the blue line on the other side. But with this bar in the middle, let's see what happens. So we start it from the height of the blue line. Even though the swing gets interrupted, it's blocked by the bar, it still gets back up to the height of the blue line on the other side because it still has that energy. And so when it swings up, it still gets to the height of the blue line because it still has the same total amount of energy since energy is conserved.